Hello, welcome to this screencast where I'm going to show how to sort the contents of CSV file using uh, Microsoft uh, Text Driver and AWDB. Hi, I'm Baiju Kam, software designer, developing applications using Microsoft technologies, especially .NET technologies. For more details, visit my blog baijumax.blogspot.com that you can right now see on your screen. Here I'm using a C Sharp Windows application uh, for this demo. Uh, you can use any programming language, for example, VB, B, C++, or any other .NET language to achieve the same functionality. To begin with, we need a CSV file. So here I'm using sample data.csv that you can right now see on your screen. Um, sample data.csv have uh, ID name age three fields ID name age and some data like I mentioned I'm using C sharp Windows application so I created here a sorting CSV project C -sharp, which is a C sharp Windows application and have added the sample data to the project itself so I have one form form 1.cs in our project let's go on to the design and let's check in design uh, form 1. Dot, uh, form 1 have placed one text box and a sort button. Text box basically we are using to uh, display the sorted contents of CSV file and sort button click will initiate the sort process. Now let's go to the code behind of the same. So um, in order to use the ADODB we need to add uh, ADODB reference to our project. So I have here added ADODB reference to our project and also um, here can notice uh, using statement using ADODB. Most of the logic is written um, inside the button click even handler itself. Let's go and check what's there in button click. Let me let me uh, place a focus on to the button click uh, function. Okay, now this is an ADODB connection. So I'm here. I'm um, declaring a ADODB connection of uh, connection variable, and it's null. It's assigned a null value inside try catch. I'm creating an object of ADODB connection class. You can see, and the next statement, um, it's a connection string. I'm specifying the connection. Um, I have specified the connection string as driver is equal to Microsoft text driver star.txt and star.csv. So these are the uh, file format it can accept. And the default directory. Default directory I have mentioned here some variable path. Uh, before that, uh, what is this default directory? Default directory is nothing but uh, our uh, sample data file uh, residing directory. In our case, it's, the, it's our project directory itself. You can see here uh, here the project directory itself. Now um, coming back to the button click even handler, I have opened the connection using the connection string which I have mentioned here, and the second and third parameters uh, user ID and uh, password. So in our case uh, we these parameters are not relevant so I'm passing an empty value empty value string dot empty or you can just put in some double quotes and the for, fourth parameter is connection mode enum I have mentioned here uh, add mode unknown um, and I'm just type casting it to int basically uh, this parameter helps the ADO provider in evaluating how to go about with the command type so for now we can pass add mode uh, unknown as the argument and we simply convert the invitation to uh, int by typecasting. Now there is a SQL statement. I um, have mentioned a SQL statement which is uh, similar to the other SQL statement or uh, other SQL statements we normally execute against a database. The only difference here is uh, you can see select star from file name. What is this file name? Instead of table we are specifying here a file name. 
So file name is our sample data dot csv, and we are actually uh, um, sorting on a basis of ID in ascending order. So I am executing um, that particular um, SQL statement here using connection dot execute. And the second parameter gives us back it's an out variable so it gives us back uh, the records affected uh, count how many records affected by that particular operation and third uh, third parameter is a command type enum so here uh, we are executing a sql query plain sql query so i have mentioned here add cmd text so there are like two things i want to like uh, uh, Um, if, if those who are um, implementing the same functionality in VB they can skip these three parameters that is user ID password and the options uh, which I have mentioned empty empty and the connection mode in MS add mode in and not because these parameters are optional parameters in C sharp we have to specify some values the same same thing here these two parameters VB programmers can easily skip because these uh, these two parameters are not uh, relevant for this uh, particular demo so i am displaying data uh, disp uh, the sorted uh, record set so let's go to this function display data here i am uh, extracting the field name from the record set and uh, appending uh, one by one one after another separated by um, comma then I am using um, record set get string function which uh, gives us back uh, the the whole record delimited by um, the comma so um, in uh, let's let let's examine get what are the parameters uh, uh, get string can uh, accept the first parameter is uh, string format and second parameter is num rows there's only one string format uh, you can specify which is add clip string and second parameters num rows which I have mentioned here is minus one minus one is a default value which tells the uh, uh, record set get, uh, tells the uh, audio uh, provider that give me back all the uh, records and the column delimiter is comma and the raw delimiter is new line and the null expression null expression I have mentioned here um, Null expression I have mentioned here empty. That means if any value is missing, then we are actually displaying an empty string. That's it. And uh, we are sorted con uh, and the uh, the content are uh, we are now uh, displaying uh, in the uh, text box. And let's go and uh, run this. To see the output. Please note uh, we are sorting on. Uh, ID ascending order so uh, ID is 897 so which is in a numeric in nature let me execute um, this particular program so you can see I'm um, uh, uh, the, the records are sorted on ID now let's go and change ascending to descending pressing F5 now what's there so you can see it's uh, the ID uh, the records are sorted on uh, in a descending order now let's try some other field which is name which is basically um, numeric uh, string in, uh, in nature data are string in nature so let's see Steve Mark John so uh, name uh, sorted in a descending order so you can also specify um, a n number of uh, columns or fields that you normally uh, execute against uh, a database
or which is say similar to the uh, SQL query that you normally execute against your database. So um, that's all for this demo. Thank you for listening. Uh, please uh, send your feedbacks to byjumax uh, uh, at the rate uh, gmail.com or you can put your comments in my blog. Um, so thank you. Thank you very much.